So in this one, we're going to be implementing file field uploading. So that is, we're going to use a file field and then we're going to convert it into an image field. So you on your Django models can actually upload images into that media stuff that we've already seen before. And then we can use those inside of our posts. So initially we're going to use that file field and then we're going to transition it into image field. Um, so to do this, we're going to jump into our models. So in models.py, we are going to add a new line in here and we're going to call it image. And it's going to be models.file field. And I'm just going to allow it to be empty. So null equals to true and blank equals to true because we don't have a default value for these images. And also the post doesn't necessarily need to have an image to be a post. Um, so we're going to leave it as that. We're going to save this and we'll do python manage.py make migrations. So whenever you make changes, as you may remember, whenever you make changes to your models, you have to run python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate. So let's make sure we're in the root of the Django project before we do that. And then we'll do python manage.py migrate. Notice it says change meta, meta options. Um, that just has to do with this ordering here. It, it is included in the migrations just as a version history. But um, as you've seen, it doesn't actually affect on how that works. So let's go ahead and migrate. And now we have this image field here. So I'm going to run the server. And we're going to jump into our admin first. And we'll do it here. So inside the very first one, I'm going to say image here. This is what I'll actually end up using. And I'm going to use a Tesla Model S as the image. So we'll go to images. And I'm just going to save one of these images. Um, so we'll save it on the desktop just as an image that we can use. And I'll just call it car. And we'll close that out. And now we'll go into image here and do car. OK, so I select that, hit save and continue. Notice it as car. OK, so if I click on this, open into a new tab, it's going to say page not found, right? Because it's saying change. But if I went to well, we'll have to actually look at the URL and I'll do it in a little bit, not quite yet, but car is essentially where it's going to be. Now, what we did with our settings stuff is we actually set up our URLs to work with our settings. So if we go back into our URLs, our main configuration URLs, we're going to add one more line in here and that's for the static media. So we'll, or excuse me, the media URL and the media root. So inside of our settings, we want to make sure we have both of those things. We have media root, but we do not have media URL. So we'll add that in there too. And it's going to be slash media. And then also it, let's look at our media root in media CDN. Notice it says car. The image was actually uploaded into our CDN as expected. So we'll save that and we can refresh in here. And what, we'll, what we should see now is if I open this inside of here, it now opens to the correct link and it's now serving that media image. Um, and again, this is gonna work exactly like static. So now that we've got this image, I can actually display this image. But before I go any further, I do wanna go into post create and I wanna be able to actually upload the image here, right? It would make sense that it would have something to upload in the form itself, not in the admin. So in forms.py, we are going to add in image, save that and refresh. Now we've got this image file. If I wanted to change the order, just like how the admin had it, I could do that. That's not a problem. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at the bottom though. And now that I've got this, I need to do a few things to the form itself. So we'll go into post form. And inside of the form, we have to add in something called ink type and it's going to be multi-part slash form dash data. This is something you have to do when you're using data. And since we have something for ink type, let's make sure we spell it correctly, ink type. There we go. Since we have this multi-part form data, there's a thing that we have to do in our view. And that is when we actually get the data, we're going to come in here and do request data dot data or none. Excuse me, request files or none. And we're going to do that same thing when we update it. It's similar to request post, but basically if there is file data, is there actually data coming through that form? We have to call that as well. 
um, inside of this form data. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And right before the instance, I'm going to put it there as well. Cool. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's try it out on our form itself. And I'll say uh, Tesla, Tesla, go to image, go to the desktop, car, and hit create post. And if I go into the admin, posts, Tesla's the last one, we click on here, we see that we have that image coming through. And notice it actually auto-generated a new image name for it too, which is pretty nice for us. So if we go into post, or excuse me, into media CDN, we see that we have that auto-generated, um, which is cool. So um, there's that. Now let's go ahead and actually just display it on both our post detail itself, as well as the post list. So at the very top, I'm gonna to just put it in here and do image source equals to, and it's gonna be instance.image.url. And I'll give it a class of image responsive, image responsive or IMG responsive. Okay, so let's go back into our posts. Look at the one, and there we go. So we've got our image here, that's pretty cool. Actually, it looks kind of nice, and each image, um, if it's bigger than the width of this, it's going to be cut right into that, just like that. And we'll do this same thing with our post list. And the thumbnail this time, so we had that thumbnail class, so I'm going to put it in here. We don't have to change anything, like this is what we commented out, so we'll change it back. Go into posts, and make sure you save it as obj this time, .image.url. And it says image has no file associated to it. So what we have to do is actually add if object.image. And we're going to have to do that same thing in our detail. If there is no image, then we don't want it to say anything. So if instance.image and if save those, refresh in here. And now we have some images showing up. Cool, so it's, it's definitely starting to look a little bit better as far as the content is concerned. So there is, I did, we did stall, install that Python image library for a reason, because we've been using a file field. We have not been using an image field. So let's actually take a look at the Django image field inside of the Django documentation by doing a quick Google search and model field reference and then image field. Do a quick little search uh, inside of the page. So command, command F to do that. And down here, we have a few attributes for this image field. Um, and it relies on the Python image library, otherwise it will not work. So let's go ahead and change this to image field. And I'm gonna add a height field equals to models dot um, integer field. And we'll say default equals to zero. And we will also put a width field in here. And then we can add these attributes as additional attributes to the image field itself. You'll see what this does in a second. So patience. Um, all right, so now we've got that. And we can also have our max length, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, so there we go. So now we've got this image field. Let's run the migrations again. So python manage.py, make migrations. And it's saying pillow. Pillow is not working, so pip install pillow. All right, so pillow is what it's relying on. So the Python image library is what pillow does. So now that we've installed it, we can now do this and it adds these fields for us. So we'll do python manage.py and migrate and we'll run the server again. All right, so we'll go back into our posts I'm going to go into this first one and just hit edit. I'm going to change the image that it is, change it. It's not actually changing it, but I'm going to put upload a new one. So I'll say call the title Tesla 2, hit create post. It seemed to have created a new one. It says it was saved successfully, which is good. If we go into the admin now and go into posts, Tesla 2, we now see that it gives us the height and width of this image. So there's a lot more things that we could do with these images um, that we're just not going to cover. But Digital Marketplace does cover how to make like thumbnails and stuff like that from here and auto generate all sorts of things. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but now that we've got this image field, um, it's starting to come together 
very nicely for us, except there's one thing that I do wanna change, and that is where these images are actually uploaded to. So this upload location um, is relative to the media uploads, and we'll see what that means right now. So I'm gonna define a function called upload underscore location right above the model, and it's gonna take in instance or, ob or OBJ and then the file name. And all I'm gonna do here is return a string, a relative string of where it's gonna be going. So this is gonna be instance.id and file name. So this upload location is gonna change how it uploads inside of the media CDN. So then in our image field, we would just do upload to, and we set it to that function itself. And this will now, every time it uploads a new image, it's gonna go based off of this upload location here. Of course, you could hard code it as well as like images like that. There's nothing wrong with this, but this is a little bit more dynamic and it would be something that you might use if there was a user or you did some other things. Um, so if you had an instance user, you could put it in their folder. Um, so there's that. And this also works for that file field that we already did. So that's the last thing that we're gonna do here. And let's go ahead and, and try it out. I'm just gonna edit this post again. We're gonna come in here, car, upload post, go back into that edit, and now we see it says 27 slash car. And if we see in here, it also says 27. So it's going based off of the actual post itself now. So off of the post ID. And that also means that it's not gonna by default change the image name. Another nice thing about this is you can actually change the file name in here. So what I'll do now is I'll just say file name or file base and extension equals to file name dot split here. Now, this is not the greatest thing ever here, but at the very least we could do something like this where we said um, instance dot ID and then you would basically have the instance ID being the name of the file instead of the original file name. So let's let's just show you what I mean. Create that post, come back in here, refresh, and now it just changes that. Um, this this right here is not the greatest because if for some reason the image itself had other periods in there, it would it would definitely break this. Um, so I'm not gonna actually leave it like this. I'll leave it as a comment and just put the original that we had in there first because that's more likely what you'll end up doing. Um, so auto-generating th that type of stuff is definitely something you can consider doing if you really need it. Um, most of the time you probably won't. Uh, all right, so there's that's it for actually adding images. Um, there's a few steps. So remember, uh, let's just recap the steps themselves. So for the model, the image field or the file field, if you're using image field, you have to use pip install pillow. So use the Python image library. Um, and then once you actually put that image field in there, you can change the upload location by using a function itself. If it's a file field, you can't use the height and width fields that does, just doesn't exist on a file field that's specifically for image field. And the Python image library is what sets those other fields for you once you upload it. Um, and then once you add this to the model, you have to make sure that your form, um, the HTML form has the ink type once it has the ink type, then you want to make sure that your view actually requests the files or nothing. So request files or none is similar to request post or none. If it's not coming through, it's not going to ask for it. If it is coming through, it's going to ask for it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So those few steps, if you have any questions on file uploads, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.